hosted at the World Trade Center on 9-11. It suffered through the devastation, its bark was charred, and the tree was reduced to just stumps. However, members of the New York City Parks Department decided to salvage it from the rubble of Ground Zero. They brought it to Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx and nursed it back to health. The tree has since flourished, grown back its branches, and has lived up to its name time and again. It blossoms every spring. In March 2010, the tree was completely uprooted in a wind rainstorm, and then last summer in a single week, it survived both an earthquake and Hurricane Irene. This scrappy pear tree reminds us that we can heal and that we can grow. And it's these types of stories that help give us hope when we need it most. With the memorial now open, I think we have a lot to be hopeful about. Just before the new year, we marked an important milestone at the memorial welcoming our millionth visitor. To date, we've welcomed more than 1.1 million people. While construction continues on the other projects, we have to manage our visitation through a reservation system, and already 2.3 million passes have been reserved from people in all 50 states and more than 100 countries. It's a clear indication of the public's will to commemorate and to keep the promise that we all made to never forget. Every day, new stories and experiences related to 9-11 are being made at the memorial. The brother of FDNY Captain Patty Brown, who was killed on 9-11, told me that over the years he hadn't been sure what kind of memorial, or really if any memorial, could be a truly fitting tribute to his brother and the sacrifice that he made. He'd been worried that with a, a shiny new memorial at the World Trade Center that he wouldn't be able to feel the presence of his brother as he did for so many months when he was down at ground zero during the recovery effort. But he said to me while standing near the South Pool where his brother's name is inscribed, he said, I feel him here and while I had no idea what kind of memorial I wanted, this memorial is exactly right. Again, it's a privilege for all of us who have worked on the memorial to be part of creating something lasting, comforting, and hopeful. And it has been an extraordinary privilege to get to know the stories of those whose names are on the memorial, as well as others who've been closely impacted by 9-11. There are countless other stories of survivors, first responders, recovery workers, family members, and those who helped to build the memorial and the museum. Unfortunately, we could only tell just a handful in, the, in this book. And while all these stories can't possibly conveyed by, be conveyed by the memorial, I like to think that it's the stories that are truly the foundation for the memorial, just as much as the steel, concrete, granite, and bronze that the memorial is built from. And fortunately, many of these stories will be preserved and told in the planned memorial museum. Um, the pavilion is that glass structure that's pictured here. In building the memorial and planning for the museum, we have strived to do justice to the incredible stories of loss, resilience, and hope. In honoring the memory of those we lost, we hope the memorial shows that something beautiful and meaningful can emerge from tragedy. Um, thank you again for having us today, and we'd be happy to take any questions. I think it's probably the most meaningful thing I will ever do. I don't, I can't imagine anything else. You know, when we were there for the anniversary and we saw these families around the memorial, just the sense of, you know, after working on this for seven years and Lynn for 10, really, it was just the most amazing sense of that you had given some kind of, it wasn't really closure, but that you had given some kind of hope to people. And that, I mean, I don't think I'll ever experience anything else like that. Yeah. And you know, my hope too is that there never needs to be another memorial like this built. Um, I always say that to you know Abby when she said, oh, "I'm so, you know so proud of you and so thankful to you," and I just say, you know, I wish that we never had to never build had this to memorial it. in the first place.